And so it's the American Board of Surgery's job to, to design the training so, so that surgeons can uh, learn faster, better, and ultimately be better surgeons when they're finished with their training. Uh, now with simulation and technology and online learning and all these different venues, there's the opportunity to have surgeons learn more rapidly and more effectively. Mm -hmm. In my years on the American Board of Surgery, uh, at the forefront of helping design those paradigms, and it's really been quite enjoyable. Uh, for me, an incredible honor then to be elected by my peers. I mean, people love this institution. They're very faithful. Uh, they'll do anything for the institution. And to have a, uh, a faculty that feels that way about your College of Medicine is something that's, uh, I think, an incredible gift. And just a, you know, bragging for a moment about our medical school, uh, I just uh, uh, inaugurated my first class. It's called a white coat ceremony. Uh, 207 students. Uh, the average GPA is 3.77, um, almost unbelievable. And the average uh, MCAT score, the MCAT's the test you take to get into medical school, is at the 90th percentile. So really an impressive class of individuals that I think would match up to any medical school uh, in the country. So I think that when, when people uh, uh, devote their careers to academics, they're, they're trying to, to push the edge. They're, they're trying to uh, move the field forward and provide a level of clinical care that's different than can be received in a community practice or in the community at large. Uh, the, other, the other part about academics from a clinical standpoint is that often in academic institutions, uh, they're, they're, they're very often tertiary quaternary care centers, and we provide a type of care, differentiated care, that one can't receive in the community. We uh, uh, give very targeted immunotherapies for cancer, and uh, we have uh, uh, very uh, innovative ways now of preventing cardiovascular disease, and that all came from research. That, uh, that was from people in the laboratory with test tubes and microscopes and, and doing molecular biology, innovating and eventually translating and then bringing those new therapies to people. So one of the, the most enjoyable parts about academics is the, is the teaching because ultimately everybody that becomes a physician or a healthcare professional has to go through training. And, and so we have the opportunity to impact those people. And so then they go out and impact patients and then maybe they train more people and then those people go out and impact patients and it really propagates itself in a way where you're, you're creating an impact that might uh, last for generations. I mean, I think all of us that want Ohio State to grow and uh, rise in national prominence realize that the way to accomplish that is, is to be at the table.